We're back with some undervalued NFT alpha today. I can't wait to share this project with you guys. I do think we have an awesome list of projects today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now do remember that this is not financial advice. Always do your own research and invest at your own risk. But with that said, let's dive straight in to this first project. All right, now the first project we have today is Cyberlinks. They're currently sitting at 2.36 Solana floor price with over 10,000 Solana in traded volume already. I mean, it's only a few days since these guys minted. So 10,000. Solana volume is really impressive. Only 270 listed at over 4,444 supply as well. And these guys have just been doing so many cool things already, even though they just minted a few days ago. If you have not seen their art, this is what it looks like. Pretty clean PFP art, in my opinion. They do seem to have a really strong community. Their activity is looking pretty great as well. Their website looks super clean. This is basically what it looks like. Going to the utility section, they have so many many things up and running already, but also so many cool things coming in the near future. So as you can see right here, they have their raffle website up and running. It looks super clean. They have ladder raffle, they have lucky circle, slot, roulette, and they're also coming out with mines, crash, dices, coin flip, lucky NFT, lottery, chests, and RPS. So they're basically building an entire casino and they have already multiple games up and running. They actually had that pre-mint, which we love to see. We love it when projects actually create utility and kind of show us what they're capable of before they actually go ahead and mint. They also are doing these airdrops right now, which is pretty cool. Basically airdropping these NFTs right here that you will get by holding certain ranks and certain amount of their Cyberlinks NFTs. And these airdrops will basically give you staking multipliers. They're also coming out with a code game in the future, which sounds really interesting. Now I don't know exactly how this will work, but it at least sounds really interesting. And checking out the roadmap real quick, they always have like staking, raffles, slot machine, their coding game coming soon. They have auctions, rock, paper, scissors, and obviously all of the other casino games that I just showed you. So they're doing so many cool things. And I definitely think that this team is super talented and it's definitely a team that I believe in long term. Next up on the list, we have Solana Puppy Pounds. You might remember these guys if you're an OG in the space because this was a super successful project like six, seven months ago, but this was the same team that created Vandal City. So it did seem like they kind of just left this project, rugged it to go and build Vandal City instead. But it might seem like they're actually coming back for Puppy Pound season two. If we go over to their Twitter, they had basically not tweeted anything for like six months back in like March. But yesterday they tweeted this trust the pound and they changed their banner to coming soon as well as their profile picture to puppy pound season two so it might look like they're actually coming back these guys went to like a six or seven solana floor prize as an all-time high i believe i was very involved in this project they were one of the first projects to successfully build like a gamified staking platform they basically have three different breeds of these dogs and whatever breed had the most nfts staked basically also earned the most rewards so it it was kind of like a competition between the different breeds and obviously the breeds that had the most NFT staked earned the most from staking and therefore also was more valuable. So it was kind of a game and a competition within the community, which was super fun when they actually did it. And if they're able to come back with something similar and do this in a successful way again, I think these guys can see a pub, but this is a pretty risky thing because they have only made this one tweet. We don't know anything else about what they're actually coming back to do. We don't know who's running it because obviously like Solana Berries and the team behind this project went to run Vandal City. So I don't know if it's the same people that actually will come back and run this Puppy Pound project for season two. I'm guessing it might be some other people just because it would be really hard to run both Vandal City and Solana Puppy Pound at the same time. But as I said, we don't know anything else about this season two. But personally, I saw this tweet, Trust the Pound, like one minute after it got tweeted. I ran over to my computer and I swept up quite a few Peppy Pants around 0.5 Solana, which they're currently at right now as well. They did pump up to one Solana right after this tweet, but they're right now back down to 0.53. Looking at the activity, they had like zero activity for over three months, but now the activity is looking pretty strong again because people are seeing that they're probably coming back for season two. And just the fact that it's the same team that built Vandal City, it means that these guys have great connections in the space. They might go ahead and collab with Vandal City to promote this season two. Like who knows? They really have a lot of opportunities to go ahead and make this a successful project again and kind of de-rug it. But as you can tell, 
tell, we do not know too much about this new season. We don't know who's running it and stuff, so it is pretty risky. But I'm involved, I picked some up, and I'm really interested to see where this goes. Next up, we have Jaikin or Jikan Studios, however you want to pronounce it. Currently sitting at 6.5 Solana, closing in on 100,000 Solana in traded volume. Only 400 listed out of an 8,888 supply. These guys are pumping because of their art upgrade. They're also coming out with a roadmap 2.0 really soon. I did talk about this project in an undervalued NFT video when they were sitting at like 3 Solana. I picked up quite a few when they were sitting at like 3 Solana as well, but I still think they're undervalued. I can easily see Gcan go to 10 plus before their art upgrade, because looking at this, it's now 6 days until they release the face of the new art. So far, they have only released these sneak peeks of the actual like body of the new art upgraded NFTs, but they have not shown the face yet, and it's now 6 days, well probably like 4 or 5 when you're watching this video, until they actually go ahead and reveal how the new face will look, and if it looks good, I think they definitely can see a good pump between the day that the face reveals and the actual art upgrade will be happening. And so far, the sneak peeks looks really good. I really like the body sneak peeks that they have shown so far. Obviously, here's another one. This one looks really cool. So as long as the rest of the NFT looks good as well with the background and the face, I think these guys can see another massive pump to 10 plus, do something similar to Vandal City. And they're not only doing an art upgrade, but as you can see, they also have Roadmap 2 coming soon. This is the old Roadmap, now Roadmap 2.0 information coming soon. So in addition to this, huge art upgrade that I do think will look sick and can definitely pump the project itself. They're also coming out with Roadmap 2.0 and this team honestly seems really good. I trust the team behind this project so I definitely think Roadmap 2.0 will also be super interesting. So they definitely have a lot of cool things coming up in the near future. So Gcon Studios is another one that I'm betting on. I currently hold five I believe. I might actually be picking up a couple more before their face reveal of the new art. But Gcon Studios, I really like the project and I definitely think they can see 10 plus floor price. Now moving on to some honorary mentions that I also think will do really good in the next couple of months. We have Soul Gods. They reached an all time high of like 65 Solana back in like the previous bull run. They are really on the grind and I definitely think these guys will do some crazy things. And I think these guys will easily see 50 plus Solana again in you know, maybe a couple months, maybe a few weeks, like who knows. But long term, this is definitely another team that I'm very comfortable betting on. I can definitely see Soul Gods reach a new all time high. Next up, we have Infected Mob. They have currently dipped a little bit after their D Gods collaboration, which makes sense. They're right now working on an OK Bears collaboration, as well as collaborating with other projects as well. And this team, also super experienced, it's another team that I'm comfortable betting on. I definitely think they will come out with multiple other cool features and utilities in the future. So I definitely think Infected Mob also has great long-term potential. And last but not least, I want to mention Sentries because they're also killing it with their staking validator and stuff. They currently have over 100,000 Solana staked as well, 124,000 to be exact, which is super impressive. And you know, it's just a team of builders. They have over 25,000 Solana in total traded volume, sitting at 2.8 Solana, but this is for sure another long-term project that I would feel pretty confident betting on. The only problem problem I have with this project is that I'm not a huge fan of the art. I would love it if they came out with a solid PFP art upgrade. If they did that, I think sentries would pump like crazy personally. So that's my tip to the team. But honestly, this isn't really like an art project. It's more like utility play. They're bringing so much utility to the entire space, you know, but with a good art upgrade and some solid PFP art in addition to that, I think this project would go crazy. But anyways, Sentries is the last project in today's video. And there you go, those were the three projects plus three honorary mentions today. I like all six of these projects. I think all of them has great long-term potential. Let me know which one was your favorite down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video and got any value from it, do consider to smash a like, subscribe down below, of course. Check out my Patreon, my Twitter, my Discord. The links to all of these projects is also down below in the description if you wanna check that out. Now with all of that out of the way, I hope you have a fantastic rest your day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.